I'm going to assume that this will be fine to have in this episode because, like, there's so much removed. There we go. I don't like having to figure out... Oh, rat. Where's the... Oh, that's cool. It has like a little... Hmm. Well. Oh, so we... Oh, no, that's a platform that goes across. So we can just go right over here. Boom. You'd think that would be heavy. But no, Link can just carry it on his own. Oh, okay. So they move vertically, not... Horizontally. I thought it moved horizontally because of how that texture right there is. Yep. Oh, there's another one right here. I didn't see it. Yep. So we jump up here. Is that just... Yeah, I think that's just a thing in case you aren't sure where to go. It's... You can just jump up here. Oh, another yellow rupee. I think we have to go into this room right here. Oh. Oh, that was weird. It like went almost went into slow motion. So I need to take one of these, I think. It's nice how it keeps track of the place that you entered the room in. Can't do anything with that there. Oh. Never mind. We don't need to take those. And here's another rainbow platform, magic rainbow platform with steps. Yeah. So what's this say? Seeker of the goddess's guideposts. Press R to call me and guide me to my place of truth. Come on! Follow me. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. I like how it does that. Can I pick you up? Yes, I can. Um. Can I throw you? No. I don't think so. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So this is a little slow, but... Oh yeah, so we actually have to pick it up. Oops. We actually die, so I guess, like, part of Link was in... Like, part of Link's soul was in the, uh... This thing. I'll meet you back on the other side. That's... I'm glad that it doesn't... automatically jump into a pit. Because if it did, that would burn. Ah. Oh wait, no, we have to jump across, not throw it. That's right. Yeah, I forgot. So, we just go, yeah, we go right through the, oh. Set you down right there. Okay. 
So, oh, we get another heart. That's good. Okay, so that kind of makes sense. That we have to take this across. I was going to do a joke, like, I was going to name the ones in here because, like, in addition to this one, there's actually a few others. And then it just gets down and hops slowly to, slowly and dramatically to its resting place, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I was going to do a joke and, like, name these. I was going to name this one Nemo because the follow me thing. And then, like, I was going to name the second one Remy because, uh, I don't know, I guess, Pixar. And then I was going to name the last one Buzz because I was also having a difficult idea. And that was the first one that came to my mind. And I mean, I guess I was on a Pixar theme or something. So... There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Hmm, I wonder what tool we can use for this. So left center, right center. So, oh, left. It always returns to the center. I'm kidding. Uh, you learned the command melody. And now we can- oh, I didn't even know that was blocked off. My kin wait beyond the doors. Control them and guide them to their places of truth. To open the path to the gods. Oh, that's- Oh, okay. That didn't sound very statue-y, but, yeah. Okay, no, it's the next one over here. I know it's in this. Oh, more magic. And then we need to open this door. Bubbles. There we go. Can I... Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. So... Huh. Oh, I see it now. Okay. I didn't see it before. We have to use the grappling hook right here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see that. So that opens that one, but I can't do anything about it yet. So now we have to use the grappling hook again. I don't really like how out of the way it was. So now we need to call this one down. Ah, okay. That's right. So we need to put in a rainbow bridge here. Oh. Run the command melody. And now we are control we are now a link controlling this statue thing. I don't know what they're called, but have to move it across very slowly and now the bridge disappears and we go across pick this thing up I don't know what these are but Really, but, uh, oh, and then Link. Wait. Oh, no. I know what I do now. I set it down. Oh, this cutscene again. So I set it down. Does that? Yes, that works. Oh. 
Okay. Link, it is I, the King of Red Lions. I'm afraid there are some areas to which you will not be able to bring the servants of the tower. But do not fear leaving them behind. Once you have awakened them, they will wait patiently for your return. Of this, for your return. Of this, I assure you. I was not expecting um, the controller to vibrate that much. That was a lot. So we need to swing across this here. It would be nice if you could just um, if you could just uh, oh this is a mini boss area. Oh. Dark Nut, I think. Not that bad. Um, now we do want to make sure that we get the, uh, oops. Yep, there we go. We got what I wanted to get. That's a, uh, Oops. Oh. Ah, now he's punching. Um. You ever notice that they kind of look like Anubis? I thought that was kind of strange. But I mean, maybe not strange, but like, um, interesting, actually. There we go. Dark Nuts down. And now we get a bonus orb thing. I have no idea what they're called. And a large treasure chest. Hmm, I wonder what it's going to be. Uh, no, you'll want to get as many... Uh, that's what that's called as a Knight's Crest. That I got from the Dark Nut when I used the uh, grappling hook. You'll want to get as many of those as you can. I think you need like 10 of them for something. That, um, I think you need like 10 of them for something coming up. So you'll want to grab as many as you can. You got the hero's bow, set it to Y, Z, or X, then use it with the button you've set it to. Then hold the, hold the button to knock an arrow. Hold the button to knock an arrow. I've never heard that word. Or that phrase, knocking an arrow. Hold the button, anyway. And release the button to shoot. You can carry up to 30 arrows. And it comes with, it comes with a full quiver. That's, that's nice. That's great. And you can actually pick this up, swing these pillars, and get some more stuff from them. I really like how Wind Waker allows you to pick up and uh, carry the weapons. Of course, if you do pick up one of the weapons and you go out here, you just drop it. Uh, Trigger Conroy, I think, mentioned that it would be nice if more Zelda games did that. Oh, so it actually locks you out after you leave. That's... Oh, I know it doesn't. That's just because the, uh, thing, I don't know, um, oh wait, that's because that, uh, thing over there, the statue, went back in there. I'm really bad at aiming arrows in Wind Waker, so if I have trouble with this, so, oh, okay, so it goes across. I wondered how I was going to get over there. No, I need to. Hmm. Okay, well, I didn't think that. I thought that would work. Um.
So can I just not even see? Um, oh, well, I thought that was on Link's head. Maybe it was, I don't know. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, so... I need to take care of this. Oh no. Oh, I should have reset my position. My spawn point. I'll get back over there. Nope. Oh. Okay, that, that's good, it was just one rupee. So, I'm going to reset my spawn point, because in Zelda games, when you fall, you get respawned from the last door you um, exited. Oh, those are alive now. Oh, and now it just goes across. Now, we can go get some more hearts. That's actually good. I'm glad. Oh, magic. Okay, good. And then go into here. I don't remember what's in here. Like, yeah, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, you have to weigh, it, weigh one of these down. Oh, keys. Oops. So, got two of them down there. No. Actually, I'm gonna go in here because there's something. There's something in here, I assume. Oh, it's this room. Um. I don't like this room. For obvious reasons. Because there's moving platforms. And you have to aim. There we go. I don't like aiming in Wind Waker. There we go. Okay. Oh, no. I really don't like this room. Oh, good. They move without having to, like... Without having to, like, um... Re... We hit them. Oh, this actually was a required room because it has a small key in it. And there's actually something... There's actually some stuff down there. Let me get the, uh... Let me get this out. Actually, I guess I could put something else on Y or X or whatever. Is there anything else? Yes, there is. I don't know. Hmm, okay. 
so... There we go. Okay, good. I hope there's like magic out here. Oh, there's a bombable wall right there, so that's good. I said better have some. No. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to jump across this then. Ah. Wait a minute. I forgot. There we go. I forgot about the uh, magic soup. Or the soup glitch. See, I said I would be using it. So. There we go. Okay. Now. We can... Is this it? This can't be it. Hmm. Well. Alright, I think this is going to be the end of this part. I know it was really long. Uh, hopefully there is enough for me to remove so that it's not an hour and 40 minutes like the recording is. Um, if it's not, I'll just split it in two parts so that it's more manageable to watch. So, um, I was, I was hoping to get through the dungeon in one part, but we have quite a bit to go here. So, um, so in the next episode, I'm going to be going through the rest of the dungeon. Uh, goodbye for now.